about to happen. Guys, are you guys ready? Okay, be quiet. We gotta go. Come on. Let's take a look at the key players. Max is in on the plan. He's a modern day super dad who really wants to make his backyard beautiful and child friendly for his family. Amy is our unsuspecting homeowner. She's a hardworking mom who homeschools her three young boys. Charlton, William, and Bradford are the three Elsie boys who need room to grow in their unruly backyard. Our yard has been an eyesore for the family for about seven years since we moved in. It's gotten to the point where we just don't enjoy it at all and we need to do something. Amy homeschools the boys and so they're here all day. I would just love for Amy to have an opportunity to send them out to a nice place to play as well as a place where she could have a place to relax at the end of the day to recharge her batteries. The Outer Spaces crew is positioned just outside Amy's house. Amy's parents and designer Tom Stout are also ready to go. There's an old RV just inside the fence that's going to help us make some noise. Let me get into the RV first. Okay, do you have the keys? Okay, fire it up. Okay, Tom, get your guys and start digging. Our Outer Spaces crew got to work and started making noise. Max played along by opening the door so Amy could hear what was going on. Finally, Amy and the boys came out to see what the noise was all about. Hi, boys. Hi. Hi, guys. I'm coming to visit. I'm Susie Quillo. How are you? Hi, Susie. Do you know why we're here? You wanted a backyard, right? Oh. Well, we had a certain kind of a backyard already. <laughs> We're going to give you something very special. Mommy! She was, she was hiding. She yeah. was hiding. I think She's she was. really been hiding. Well, you kept the secret really well. Yeah, that was work. So, Amy, I've got your mom and dad here. Bill, Nancy, come on up. Oh, this is so fun. You Thank you. about this, you guys? Yes. yes. <laughs> They've been conspiring with us and with Max, but the boys didn't know anything about it. You, okay, good. That's just as well. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about your backyard. Have you uh, done anything out here or have you had any ideas about what you want to do out here? I guess I like like an English garden kind of a look. Flowers and... Good job! That's what he told us. He knows you well. Wow. That's great. Max also told us there was one particular eyesore in the yard that Amy was anxious to get rid of. I have one other little surprise for you. Take one step out. What happened to your RV? It's being backed out. Whoa! <laughs> but I'm, it was so attractive I, right there. Yeah, I heard that you just <laughs> loved that RV. And guess what? I'm getting rid of it. So he told us... Um, that you homeschool the kids, yeah, and that you're cramped up inside a good portion of the day, and then... Yeah, this is where we come to let off steam <laughs> out here. All right, Amy, the second part of this is you get to take the day off. Boys, no school today, because guess what? I'm sending you to the beach. <laughs> Yay! All right, so Amy, you're going to go to the beach with the kids and Nancy. Max is going to stay here. Bill is going to stay here. They're both going to help me. And you're gonna, we're going to check in with you regularly, so you need to take your cell phone. And then you can't come back until we're done. Right. You know all about that going? Yeah? You ready to go? Okay! Oh. Everybody ready for the beach? Yeah. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Let's go! Okay. Woo! Okay, Amy and the boys are off to the beach. Bye, Bye. Nancy! To have some fun in the sun. Bye. While we get to work on the yard. Yeah. This is a big project, but now that Amy's on board, we can get down to business while she and the boys head off for the beach. This is okay. This is good. Okay, it's time to swing into action. The plan is to divide the yard into two main areas. One side is a spot for Amy to relax. The other side is a place for the boys to learn and play. Designer Tom Stout and I are going over the plan for Amy's area with her husband, Max. This is going to be sort of the overall, what do you English call it? English kind of, garden sort yeah, of. Yeah, for your wife. Yeah, 
because you said she loves uh, love that feel and she sure. mentioned she loves roses. Sure. So this would be a patio area with an arbor over here and those rose bushes that are actually doing pretty well against that wall we're going to transplant very carefully with their root ball over here and mass all these rose bushes together so she has kind of a rose garden. We're going to have a fountain over here and uh, it's going to be right between the windows so you can see it from when you're in that bedroom and you can also hear it oh, so nice. it'll be great. great. We also have a way to create an inexpensive dining area for Amy and Max. Now let me head you over to the children's area. All right, so over here, this is going to be very exciting. Max, we've got planned a schoolhouse that's going to double as an entertaining area. Amy will just love this, I'm sure. And your kids are going to love the grass. We're going to have lawn all the way from the patio to the swing set. It'll provide a nice, lush, green, vibrant color, which will be really nice. Uh, and it won't look like this, it won't be dirt. Swing set will be over there. And then you have something really fun planned for we the kids have back here. A log structure planned, which will be amazing. Okay. Yeah, Same it'll be really structure. great. But there's no time for recess right now. We need to get to work. Amy and the three boys are having a blast at the beach, but making over her big backyard is no picnic. How do you make a large space like this be more private and intimate? We'll tackle that when we return. Looking for even more decorating tricks and treats? Log on now for the frightful and delightful Halloween projects on HGTV.com. Your pictures will never be the same again. Introducing Kodak Perfect Touch Processing. Perfect Touch looks at every picture individually to draw out the details digitally. And now, it even detects and reduces red eye. Remember, you have to ask for Perfect Touch. So, check the box, check the back. Be sure it's Kodak. The Home Depot is more than a store. It's making a great investment in your home, like new paint in the dining room, new carpet in the family room, or new appliances in the kitchen. It's also getting a great way to pay for it, because right now you'll get 10% off your first purchase when you open a new consumer credit card account at the Home Depot or Expo Design Center. Save up to $200, plus get no payments or interest for six months on all purchases of $299 or more. The Home Depot. You can do it. We can help on the next Weekend Warriors. Their home's getting a family-friendly makeover. It looks great. With some trial and error. Time to do a little adjusting. Will they get the job done? Maybe we should try Plan B. I'm glad you have so much confidence. Weekend Warriors, Wednesday night at 9 on HGTV. Next time on back-to-back -back episodes of Curb Appeal, their new home needs a new look. We can't wait. It's an amazing Craftsman-style makeover. Wow. Then, Plain House, Barren Lawn. Girl. You're very unattractive. Curb Appeal to the rescue. A full hour of Curb Appeal, Wednesday night beginning at 10 on HGTV. Welcome back to Outer Spaces. We have plenty of homework to do here at the LDs while we correct Amy's backyard where she homeschools her three young boys. It's been an out of the ordinary day for Amy Elsie and her three boys as they woke up to the Outer Spaces crew in their backyard. So far we've marked out the areas and just by cleaning it up, it already looks better. We got rid of an old RV, which Amy says was an eyesore, but we are not throwing everything out. We found some old things that we can use to create a private area where Amy can relax. But before we use these items, I'm going to give Amy a call at the beach just to make sure that that's okay. Hello? Hi, Amy. It's Susie. Hi, Susie. I found a few uh, little pieces, I guess I would say a furniture, that it looks like they're kind of all piled up, not really being used. Can I use anything I find in the garden? Use anything you find. That's fun. Well, you guys have a great time. I'm going to get back to work and uh, make some sandcastles for me. 
Max told us that Amy really wanted an arbor, so I decided to test it out with a few accessories to see how it might look once the patio is in place. Thanks so much. I'm so glad I called Amy to find out if I could use this wonderful bench that she had on the side yard because it was made to fit. It was just meant to be here. I just know that this is going to be a wonderful spot for her to come back and relax anytime. This will be just a great spot for her. I'm going to spruce it up with a few pillows that I have. Let me see. This is wonderful. I'm adding some color by using flowers in pots instead of planting them all in the ground. This way Amy can change them depending on the season and what's currently in bloom. In colder climates, the pots can be easily brought indoors for the winter. Now that I've created a relaxing place for Amy, designer Tom Stout is starting his plan to improve the look of the existing fence as well as add privacy by inserting panels behind the lattice. We didn't buy a new fence because the, it would have been thousands of dollars. And in order to create privacy for the Elsie family and keep the cost down, we cut some Luan to fit in the existing fence and then put new lattice on the outside of the Luan so it would look great from both sides. And then we took a staple gun secured all three pieces together, the old lattice, the new lattice, and the Luan. Then we put a fresh coat of paint on it. That fresh coat of paint makes this fence look brand new. So while Max and Amy's father, Bill, continue on the fence, Tom and I are going to get started on the next feature of our English garden. Earlier, Tom laid out the pattern for Amy's patio. He simply spray painted a freeform design and dug out about a four inch trench. Next, he installed a bender board which can easily be shaped to follow the design and will contain the surface material. We could finish off the patio by adding pea gravel or bark. But for this particular design, we chose decomposed granite, also called DG. We're using decomposed granite because it's very inexpensive. It's very easy to put down. And it adds to the English garden ambiance. Once the decomposed granite is poured and evenly spread around the patio, it is then wet and compacted, forming a very hard surface. It's almost like concrete, so it's a really great patio surface to deal with. Well, there's a lot of work to do. We still have plants to plant, we have sod to put down, we have the rest of the DG to put down, so we've got a lot of work. It won't be long before Amy and her boys will be coming back from the beach. Even with the help of her husband and father, we'll never get all of these plants in the ground in time. See the last minute solution.